Hey everybody, it's Rod Wilt with Penn Northwest Development Corporation. Welcome to another podcast edition of Discover Mercer County Business. And uh, it's been a while since we've been talking to you all about what's going on, but um, that doesn't mean we haven't been busy and we haven't been out and about uh, trying to make things happen for Mercer County. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, the purpose of this podcast is to really showcase some of the things that are going on uh, in the economic development realm uh, throughout Mercer County. We, we meet with a lot of our business leaders. We try and understand what makes them tick and also uh, how their business is doing in this uh, environment, in this climate. Uh, we continue to be in a in an area where we've got more jobs and we have people to fill them, but that doesn't mean that we uh, stop looking for opportunities. And so today on our podcast, uh, we're going to go down uh, the path of looking at entrepreneurship, innovation, uh, looking at how the Ben Franklin Technology Partnership uh, exists in Pennsylvania as a way to uh, take taxpayer funds and move them in an area that is helping to support uh, innovation and invention and um, soft assets, those things that are a little tougher to, to finance. So to that end, uh, we have a wonderful guest, uh, Brian Slaywin, with us today with the Ben Franklin Technology Partnership. He's the Western PA coordinator. I'm going to bring him in on camera three, and there he is. Good morning, Brian. Hey, good morning, Rod. Thanks for having me on. I'm super excited to talk about what we're doing at Ben Franklin in partnership with you at Penn Northwest and how that's impacting the economic future of Mercer County and obviously beyond. Yeah, I, wa I want to st uh, start at like the, the top and we'll work our way down in, into the weeds. Yeah. So, uh, you know, at the top is this mission that Pennsylvania has had for years to support innovation coming out of our colleges, universities, our businesses. So at a very high level, talk about how Ben Franklin and Innovation Works and the partners you have around the state Tell us at a high level, you know, what the mission of the partnership is. Sure. So in the early 80s, the governor, uh, Thornburg at the time, and the other folks looking at the future of a, the Pennsylvania economy recognized that innovation was really the key to unlocking the economic future of Pennsylvania. So they pr created a four-center across the entire Commonwealth, four different centers, that were focused geographically on finding, mentoring, investing in, and supporting companies that were going to drive uh, drive that. And that's continued through today. Um, as you mentioned, I'm with Central and Northern Pennsylvania, which extends in the Northwest, down through Erie, across the State College in Harrisburg, uh, the Ben Franklin in Pittsburgh, better known as Innovation Works, focuses on that geography. There's also a center in the Philly region. There's also a center in the Bethlehem region. So collectively, we look for innovation, the best and the brightest, and we provide resources and support for those companies to grow. So uh, having been a legislator, and you know, the biggest thing we work on every year is the state budget, I always got asked you know, at the beginning of the year, hey, what are we going to be working on? What's your big mission for the for this upcoming year. And for me, it's always been the budget, the budget, the budget. That's what yep. drives the Pennsylvania economy is what level of support we're going to give uh, to education. And uh, so having just um, uh, had a budget passed in right, Harrisburg, yeah, right. um, tell me what the impact of that um, will be for the upcoming fiscal year for Ben Franklin. Sure. So um, we're laser focused in and aligned with the Department of Community and Economic Development's 10 year business development plan, economic development plan. Um, and you can find all about that at a website called pagetsitdone.com, where um, colleagues like Secretary Seiger and Deputy Secretary Gilberg and our great friend um, Jen Leinbach and so many other people who are supportive of this mission of driving innovation to drive economic growth. So we take the capital that we're provided annually by the Commonwealth and we invest that in communities in which we work ac all across the Commonwealth. Um, the challenge is, you know, it's never enough, right? I, uh, it's hard to complain when you're given the kind of money that we are, but I'm always fearful of w who are we missing? or who aren't we supporting, or who aren't we getting to. Fortunately, we have partners like Penn Northwest and 
a number of other uh, economic uh, support organizations in Mercer County who step up, and we'll talk about it in greater detail a bit, but um, step up and create the Mercer County Innovation Fund, where local money is pooled with Ben Franklin money, and then we take that million dollars and put it into the economy of that community. So that is one method by which we are um, helping to expand the economics of what we're trying to do. So when you, when you look at that and you look at it regionally, obviously you have Penn State as part of your region. That's got to be the anchor of innovation, and that office has to generate the lion's share of activity that you see. It is. Uh, but we also have in Erie, um, Marshall Yost University, Gannon yep. University. We have the Penn State Barron campus. We've yep. got, obviously, we're sitting here in the podcast center at Keel and the beautiful Pettus Com Communication Center, which I always try and pump up while we're doing is it. This <laughs> is really nice. It is uh, really nice. There's a lot of interesting uh, uh, pieces of equipment and capabilities here. And it's you know, definitely worth coming to visit. It is. It is. And we used to do this in the film studio, but the podcast center just seems to be a much more easier place to lift up this program but yeah. uh, you know when you look at the colleges and universities that are in your region how much of that how much of the idea factory is coming out of these colleges and how many of them are coming just up out of the mud so um, we're connected with all of the regional colleges some at a greater depth than others and we're always working to enhance that and improve that but as an example every month I visit the um, Hope Cat Center, which is where the Shenango launch box is located, and that's associated with Penn State Shenango. And we do a program called Meet Ben, where we talk about how do you raise money, how do you grow your company, how do you make your first hire, how do you do internal communications, culture. I mean, there's just a wide variety of entrepreneurial topics that we uh, do in partnership with Penn State Shenango. Similarly with Grove City. Um, similar kinds of program at Grove City College. Obviously, Penn State, uh, located in Erie, they're doing a lot of innovation, a lot of innovation in manufacturing. They're doing a lot of science-related things, all of which are very commercializable. And there's other colleges, obviously, in the region. Um, we always are interested in working with the super sharp, visionary, young, you know, try everything, let's see what we can build or break kinds of people. So, you know, uh, rising seniors all the way through recent graduates, we're definitely interested in supporting them, working with them. You know, we've got a, a program aligned with Allegheny College. They've just rolled out a program and a facility called the Allegheny Lab for Innovation, and we're super excited to be partnered with them. So that's where it starts, our best and brightest, and bringing them out of the weeds, if you will, and hopefully helping them on an entrepreneurial path. Yeah, we're going to talk about on this show some of the specific projects that we're working on, particularly in Mercer County. But generally, the type of things that you are seeing coming through your funnel now in terms of what people are pursuing at a, at a general level, because I know a lot of what we talk about really isn't public yet, but we're going to talk about a few things that are public. Yeah. Um, but tell us what's out there in this what are you seeing on a regional basis that's that's coming into your what I always call the deal the deal funnel? Yeah, so I think the pandemic really opened up the doors to entrepreneurism for uh, everybody. Um, I think there are a lot of people who said, you know what, I'd rather cast my future using my own rod and reel rather than you know work for someone and there's as much risk associated there. So we're seeing, j like, l uh, and I was I was talking earlier. Um, summers are usually fairly, you know, calm, right? They're slow, not this summer, and not last summer either. There's just a lot of entrepreneurial activity. So it goes from, you know, people who want to start up a hot dog stand, or people who want to do something in clothing, or there's other restaurant ideas, or people who want to start a a, 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 a maintenance company. Or, I mean, it's just everywhere. The things that we focus on and where we focus with the Mercer County Innovation Fund is primarily small manufacturers. We've got a bunch of that, and we can talk about one of them here in a second, and then also technology companies. And while, yes, it's zeros and ones, 
there's a lot broader when we talk about technology there's a lot broader landscape and so those are w the areas where we focus and we can be more supportive great we're going to take a very quick break got to just address something real quick we're going to come right back with brian slavin from the uh, ben franklin technology partnership <laughs> 